Visitors are an inherent part of Amsterdam. They have brought so much to the city throughout the decades. Jobs, revenues, cultural amenities and lots of creativity and diversity. But in the past few years, livability has been affected. Overcrowdedness and antisocial behaviour are causing a nuisance. Houses are taken off the market and the old city centre has seen the growth of a monoculture of shops. But COVID-19 has changed all of this. The Amsterdam area has been hit hard by the current crisis. Businesses and cultural institutions have had to temporarily close their doors or have gone bankrupt. Employees are losing their jobs, conferences have been cancelled and visitors are staying home. And the crisis isn't over yet. We are at a tipping point. In 2025, Amsterdam will celebrate its 750th anniversary. How do we start the visitor economy back up as quickly as possible and in a sustainable way? It all starts with a new image of freedom with respect for one another. These are the seven recommendations from the city to the city. Focus on visitors that add value, such as conference and cultural visitors. Use data to tempt these visitors and guide them through the whole Amsterdam area. Reward entrepreneurs that take responsibility for the city in which they operate. Develop the city's districts based on a distinct identity, in collaboration with businesses, cultural institutions and residents to help them profit from the visitor economy as well. Help create a varied, high-quality nightlife and tackle antisocial behaviour and nuisances with an integral approach. Make the old city centre attractive again for Amsterdam's locals for living, working and leisure. Help create a clean and green city and manage the crowds in the public space. These recommendations have been prepared in co-creation with residents, entrepreneurs, cultural institutions and experts. This makes us extremely proud because we're shaping the Amsterdam of the future together.